Hey everybody, welcome to another Gate with Andrew Crossy. Please like, share and subscribe. Click that wee button so that we can share the faith and the glory of God throughout Ireland and the whole world. It's little videos like this here that <clears throat> inspire hearts. And I thank God, <clears throat> excuse me, for the privilege and the honour to speak the very few words that I have um, for, for Jesus and Our Lady and for our faith. Um, this is so we can all grow together. We can all hold each other up. <clears throat> we can all learn from one another. Folks, um, my eyeball just hanging out of my head. I didn't get home till, I don't know, maybe three o'clock this morning, maybe four by the time I get to sleep, I don't know. But anyways, yesterday was just absolutely stunning and out of this world. Having descended on Ireland's capital yesterday in Dublin, Christ the King paved the way um, from St. Peter's via O'Connell Street to Church Street to a beautiful Holy Mass to finish it off for heaven's glory. Jesus was walking inside. I could feel the presence of heaven yesterday. It was just so unbelievably phenomenal. The turnout was just out of this world. I mean, it was so overwhelming. I didn't even know what to say. I'm just like... I'm, I'm doing a little bit of film work with the camera and I'm just blown by the amount of people that are coming and joining the procession. Um, it was just absolutely out of this world. So we, I just want to give all praise and glory and honour to our Lord Jesus Christ and to his beautiful mother Mary, our mother, because Our Lady <clears throat> was side by side with us yesterday. Jesus was side by side with us yesterday and he sent all these beautiful souls on this journey with us yesterday. It was just absolutely spectacular. Folks, come back to when do we start Wednesday? Um, there was 30 beautiful wee souls, maybe over 30 beautiful wee souls showed up for this walk on the first day. There was like 20 odd the next day. There was 30 odd the next day and they were paving the way and praying and storming heaven that the power of the Holy Spirit would descend on the hearts of people in this country and um, touch their hearts to show up on Saturday, that it would be a success for God's glory, for heaven's glory. Um, and my goodness, it just blew us all out of the park. What a public witness through the streets of Ireland yesterday. Ireland belongs to Christ the King and Our Lady. Her mantle protects this land. The precious blood of Jesus Christ and that flame of love from his heart and his mother's heart infuses this here country and seals it with the mantle and the precious blood. This country's anointed. It always has been. It always will be. And it's up to us to grab that torch and hand that torch on to others to step out in love and to call others into the vineyard to, to encounter this eternal love to fill their emptiness in their hearts to fill that void there's nobody can do it only jesus christ and our lady our lady's always there by the hand taking us all she's our mother come and know my son here is my son look at the price my son paid for you on the cross i want i really want to thank um everybody who took part on this walk i really want to thank um jesus and our lady and heaven for entrusting this walk to us to i want to thank karen and brian and robert um i want to thank jag i want to thank father fergal um i want to thank uh, patty early um i want to thank all the wee souls that we're praying for us. I want to thank Father Brandon uh, Keeley yesterday for doing a massive, powerful Mass along with Father Fergal. Thank you so much, Father Fergal. Um, Father Antonio and Father Tim Moran, absolutely stunning. Just beautiful priests, beautiful servants of God, beautiful shepherds of faith. The homily yesterday was just so phenomenal. Um, it was solid food for the faithful. Um, Jesus' hand is on this. 
It always has been. And um, I want to thank all those who were praying for the walk across yesterday, who couldn't make it, who sent all the messages of encouragement, who just sent their love. There was a woman come yesterday from London to walk the walk. Isn't that amazing, folks? And there was people that genuinely couldn't make yesterday. But then there was people that were held back by the enemy, by Satan himself. He's the massive, it's like a mental gymnastics. He will throw everything at you, not to glorify God. He didn't want that there happening yesterday. Absolutely not. Um, there was much suffering and thing, crazy things that was going on before this walk, which we won't get into because we, we give it all to God we, for, for heaven's glory. Um, but yes, please, Jesus, next year, that that, and there'll be more videos following here, um, of footage of that walk yesterday, that the wee videos inspire your hearts to leave it all behind, to show up in faith. There was people showed up there, didn't have anywhere to stay, didn't have anywhere to put their heads down. But guess what, folks? Everybody who showed up there rested their head and done the walk. And it's a leap of faith. When we're being called out to the by roads to pray and glorify heaven and to storm heaven for heaven's glory, to pray the rosaries along the way, to pray the devotions along the way, all for God's glory. Um, these are genuine calls from heaven. It's work in the vineyard. It's all of our talents combined. Every little soul. It's the open hearts for the Lord. Let your heart be fertile soil for heaven. You know, let that love for Christ in your heart inspire others. It isn't just for you. It's a gift given to all of us from heaven so that we can go out and inspire others by the miraculous life, death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our beautiful Mother Mary, her fiat, her yes. Um... I hope I haven't missed anybody out here. I want to thank Christopher for making the videos uh, for the Walk the Cross. Um, I want to thank Robert, Kjarn, and all the little committee group, all that were in it, uh, Brian, everybody, I think I mentioned the names, all the priests yesterday, all the little girls that were dropping the petals, the confetti for Jesus, they walked ahead of him dropping the confetti for Jesus. Um, it was just absolutely unbelievable, folks. I mean, praise and glory to God in heaven. I want to thank the Gardaí for paving the way for us. For they were unbelievable. They were so good. They they had us. They had us. They had our backs the whole way from beginning to the end, right to the church. It was just so phenomenal. You could really feel the power of heaven descending on Ireland and on the capital yesterday. You could feel the flame of love that burns from the Virgin's heart and from Christ's heart. Um, that flame of love coming down on Ireland again to inspire the faithful to turn back to their faith, the faith that their ancestors had. That rosary, this rosary that's been passed down through generations, the enemy doesn't want you praying this. He'll throw a million things at you not to pray this, not to show up. Oh, don't show up. 80 kilometres, so why would you do that for? Uh, lay back in the TV there and have another cup of tea for yourself. Put the feet up, turn on the fire. Don't step out. These are all the thoughts from the enemy. The mind's a battlefield. The heart is the fertile soil for the Lord. It's where the harvest takes place, is in the heart. It's to infuse the love of the Virgin into your heart, her beautiful, immaculate heart, her humble heart. And our Lord's precious sacred heart. Humility is the key to heaven. And we have to humble ourselves for the Lord. And I mean. I'm going to get a few people to do testimonies here. Um, it, it was just unbelievable. Uh, the, the, the show of faith. That people had. The show of love. That they had not only for Christ and her lady. But for Holy Mother Church. For their family, their friends, their loved ones. That have passed on. Um. It was just massive reparation. And I know that heaven's flame of love descended on Ireland yesterday. 
just like a volcano. It was an exchange of love from the footprints of the faithful. As we always said, we walked across. It was the footprints of the faithful. That love, that infusion of love from our hearts going up to heaven and the infusion of love like a waterfall of grace showering down on every man, woman and child that walked that walk on the streets of Dublin and every home in Ireland last night was touched by heaven because of the act of faith that was um, displayed yesterday. What a public witness of faith. We were walking past. People were crying. And, you know, for, um, we were, um, I was walking past and I seen this here young girl, God bless her heart and soul. And they were out, they were maybe out ready to party. And listen, I've been there, done it, I've wore the t-shirt. And, um, and she was inappropriately dressed, let's just say. And one would look at that individual with, with, with the eyes of judgment. But as Jesus was coming through the procession, as that public display and witness of faith, that girl blessed herself. Wow. And that really touched my heart. What a massive lesson for Christ, because we can look and we can judge. But there's, there is that seed of faith. Excuse my nose, it's running. Um, there is that seed of faith in all of our hearts that has been handed down um, and nourished, let's say, till a certain age, until we all go AWOL um, by our parents and our, our grandparents. Um, it's time to for Ireland to turn back to the faith. Ireland belongs to Christ the King and Our Lady. It's just as simple as that. Um, I know the enemy was obliterated yesterday. Um, it was just absolutely, I just, I don't know, folks. It was just absolutely stunning out of this world. And I encourage, please, anybody looking in, please turn up next year for Walk the Cross. <clears throat> please display your faith and your love for Christ. Please go out and make, be a public witness for our beautiful Catholic faith, that one true holy Catholic and apostolic faith, that faith that was founded on the, upon the rock, Peter, upon the rock I built my church. And how blessed we are to be in that faith, to walk that faith, to receive our Lord Jesus Christ, body, blood, soul and divinity in the Eucharist, um, to receive all these graces from heaven, been under the umbrella and the protection of Christ's church that he founded on earth. So folks, these are just a few um, words. Just I want to thank everybody yesterday for showing up. I want to thank everybody who prayed and partook on this walk. I want to thank all the priests who showed up yesterday in faith to listen to what we had to share, that what the Lord was showing us. I want to thank um, all the wee prayer warriors in the background. Um, and I also want to thank a friend of mine, Kevin, that brought the cross down. And there was a, a, a there was a mix up on, on the church. Poor Kevin went to St Mary's Cathedral and not St Mary of the Angels. So um, Kevin, I'm so sorry about that. There, but I was getting pulled six ways to choose to yesterday. There were so many people coming at me, and I was doing my best to navigate everything. And I thought that um, I thought that you were heading to the right place, but I thought you were in the chat group. I thought you had the poster. So a big shout out to Kevin. Kevin, uh, just everybody say we prayer for Kevin. Um, yeah, just to, uh, and thanksgiving for Kevin's effort yesterday. Kevin, I, I just wanted to know that, it, that, that I really appreciate the effort you made yesterday. He was so honored to go and grab that cross that we made yesterday, or for last year. He was so privileged and honored to go and put that on his van and drive that the whole way down to Dublin to go to the wrong church and miss the mass. So I'm so, 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 so sorry, Kevin. Um, but listen, just everybody, bless everybody. Praise and thank you, Jesus, and blessed Mother Mary, all for God's glory, all for heaven's glory. Thank you, everybody, please. There's so many people to mention. Um, yeah, and, and, uh, and thank you for the priests that, that, that know me, um, that in the background help me, um, that listen, um, that that have that have um that trust me um um that encourage me to keep going um for, for Jesus and for our lady so um I just just thank you everybody thank the committee the wee group all I mean honest to God I've got a heart full of gratitude I could talk here for another hour but I'm gonna leave it there praise and glory and honor to God in heaven to Jesus and Our Lady, to all the angels and saints, 
um, that descended on, 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 on Ireland's uh, capital yesterday. Um, please turn to Jesus today. Please grab your rosary beads today. Please go deeper into your faith. And just much love to you all. Okay, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Long live Christ the King.